Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel. In this lesson, we are going to look at how you can build up your hand independence over a 16th note time division or time feel by playing two things or two different things rather in both your hands. So both your hands are going to do something different but both together will serve the chord progression of the song which is rather easy come to think of it. The right hand is going to play a chord rhythm pattern or a chord groove with a little bit of a uh, funky vibe if you will this is used a lot in funk music while the left hand is just going to hold its ground by playing pretty much what a bass player is going to do so let me just play you that a little bit more and uh, just break it down from there on okay so these are my two chords over a 16th note time feel how am i counting this 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a great way again is to use the shaker. 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E e and a... So if I just do the right hand... You see what's happening there, right? In one bar, I'm actually squeezing in two chords. What are the two chords? G minor 7th and... C dominant 7th. How am I voicing it? G minor 7th played in the normal position. G, B flat, D, F. Doo, 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 doo. While the C dominant 7th, in order to keep it close to the G minor 7th, we use its inversion by playing doo, 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 doo. G, B flat, C, E. So we go G minor 7th. Doo, 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 doo. And then C dominant 7th G B flat C E Okay, and how am I playing the pattern? What did I do there? 1 E and a 2 E and a So at the a uh of the 2 or just before beat 3 We are drifting towards the next chord Which in this case is C dominant 7 So it goes 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a what did I do at the er uh, uh of the 3, the on of the 4 and the and of the 4? At the end of the cycle basically, I didn't play the chords together. I think that would sound very aggressive and maybe a bit forceful. So what I did at the end of the bar is I broke up the chord like this. Ta -da -da, ba -ba -ba. Let's do that again. Important to keep the pulse while you do this. So, 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a, right? 2, 3, 4. Little difficult to count. You don't have to count it, but at least feel it with the other hand. The key towards independence is you need to have the pulse running with you all the time, right? You can even practice this exercise in the shower or somewhere away from the keyboard and you get pretty much similar results. See, I still have the pulse. So you go... I'm breaking that C 7th chord at the end. So three stabs of G minor in the beginning. Then two stabs of C 7th. Let's do that. And then what happens? G. The remaining three notes of the C dominant 7th chord. B flat C E. And then... Come back to G's. So that creates a nice broken vibe, which is great when you're playing faster stuff. So, all together. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So, that's pretty much what you could do for pretty much the exercise. I'm going to also include two flavor chords at the end of the lesson to kind of just give you a turnaround, just to break the monotony of what's going on. I'll give you the turnaround chord. So, again... Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Right? So let's look at the left hand now. Whatever I did with my snaps, as you see here, 
I'm going to try and execute in the left hand by playing a simple bass pattern akin to what a bass player in a group would do. So what would a bass player end up doing? Ba, ba, ba. So let's just do it over the G minor chord, G minor 7th chord. And 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E and a 4E and a, all the pulse notes which are the 1E e and a 2E. Three and the forty, right? Two, three, four. Pretty much just this on the pulse, but don't just do G G G G. You want to do G D G D to create a very bass guitar-like motion. It's exactly what a bass player would do in a group. Okay, so this has to happen over the chords. Again, you need to get this as comfortably as possible you know or as independently as possible this in a way is actually building up independence you know just talking checking your cell phone reading your news feeds or reading the newspaper if you're more old school but yeah whatever be the case you need to be able to do other activities while focusing on the pulse keeping the steady ostinato or unchanging pulse and now you have the ability to play the right hand pattern this is not really a pattern it's just a drone pulse so you go just do it over one chord for a start G minor remember at the end we break up the chord right Keep it a bit staccato in the right hand and very legato in the left hand. That actually is another layer of independence, right? If you're able to do it, great. It'll really enhance your playing, make it a lot more professional. Uh, if not, just figure it out or just do staccato in both hands. That would also be great. So you go... Legato left and... See, I have a control over my right. I know what I want to play. I want to play the first one, legato. And the second two stabs, staccato. So. And then another legato somewhere there, right? So with the changing bass now, the bass will change as per the chord. So I go G, D, C, G, G. D, C, G. What happened there? The G is the root of the G minor 7th chord. D is the 5th. And then C and its 5th. Which is who? G. G minor. C major. G minor 7th. C dominant. Get it to tempo. Very funky, right? Try to sing something. done with that or when you get a bit bored of just playing G minor 7th and C dominant 7th you have two chords at the end or even one chord at the end which you could use as a turnaround so you can go with an E flat dominant 7th which I think is very bluesy so probably you'll do G minor and C C major for three rounds and the fourth round you do what we call as a turnaround which is just something Refreshing and something new and something which creates a nice running loop. So it goes three of these G and C, G minor and C dominant, and now so what was that? That was an E flat dominant seventh with a F on the top. So that makes it a E flat ninth or an E flat seventh plus a nine there. I think it makes it very bluesy and really nice, I think. Right, 
but you could even do it with a stop and stop there so that's hit 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 four hits of that last chord pa 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 stop and then back recycle the job and turn around and what was that chord again e flat dominant very mystical if you ask me so another thing you can do if you don't want to stop with the e flat ninth chord is you could add another flavor you can add the dominant chord of the progression which is basically the fifth in this case d so you could either do d seventh or d ninth which is nice or what i like the most is to do like a flat nine so how do we build that d in the bass f sharp a c makes it a d seventh along with the flat 9 which i quite like so it goes so the same thing with those new chords what are they now e flat 9th and then d7 flat 9 or you can just do a d d 9th but i kind of prefer the flat 9th sound so the last bar or the turn round bar will be again let's keep looping that and what is the left hand do as usual root fifth root fifth of each chord right so whole thing again third time last loop right so i we pretty much done with the lesson but what i'd like to do is play the whole thing really slow so you can follow along before i do it will be really awesome if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel do leave us a comment for stuff you'd like to learn give the video a like give the video a share to your uh, individual profiles if possible and keep watching our channel we'll be doing a lot more videos coming your way so i'm going to now conclude the lesson by just playing this riff really slow okay and what is this about again what is going on we are doing a pattern in the right hand the chords being g minor 7th and c dominant 7th with the turn around remember being e flat 9th and then you end with a d 9th or you do a d 7th flat 9 or you can just do e flat 9th and stop there we we've looked at a, a few ways of doing it right at the turn so let's just do the whole thing really slow follow along try to play along and um, i will see you guys in the next video